Good morning to one and all. Today we are discussing uh, the topic uh, lower bounds through reduction. Okay. The concept is lower bounds through reduction. Reduction in the sense we want to reduce. Reduce in the sense thugginch damanamata. Okay. Now what are the techniques we have used for reducing the whatever the problem will become to another problem. How we want to reduce this problem. Okay. Listen carefully. This technique is used for reducing the given problem to another problem for which a lower bound is always known what in the sense and the other main the anti technique and other main for example for example okay sorting of an algorithm one okay problem this kondi mick first of all sorting of an algorithm and a problem and then make it tell you and a problem and then make it tell you make it tell you not put me range is the room make it tell you see a problem loan in chi manam i could problem it chay chip to known problems and known known problems low key man ka tell us in a problem ni this con was thaman man and tell like you put a sorting of an algorithm chayal and day i know the prob i know the algorithm for uh comparison of an algorithm plus i know one more algorithm swapping of an algorithm and day nem okokka number ni yala compare chedam nak tell su स्वापिंग ऑफ एन अलगोरिदम अंटे ये एंटी आम ओकोक का नंबर नी एक्सचेंज एरम अंटा अंटे वो का नंबर नीचे ओका नंबर की एक्सचेंज अंटे चेंजेस कुंटा रावड़ा न माटा ये रोंडो कॉन्सेप्ट अंटे नॉन प्रॉब्लम्स निक तेले से न कॉन्सेप्ट्स लोकी ये ओका नॉन प्रॉब्लम्स लोकी ये ओका सॉर्टिंग ऑफ एन अलगोरिदम comparison of two comparison of numbers plus swapping of an algorithm in the sense two numbers ni swap cheda me alago tells konte ante known problems lo ki manam manaku telisina known problems ninchi mana problem anedi teeskuni vastam for example p1 is tends to p2 ante p1 problem 1 is reduced to problem p2 ante p2 anedi known problem anamata manaku telisina problem lo ninchi p1 problem ki manam teeskuni vastam anamata that is the concept of reduction concept that is the concept of reduction and the known problems low key manam unknown problem ni and the telling problem ni this money was the one matter okay in a known problems low key this coney was the one matter and what the technique here what the technique we have to use in the sense this technique is used for reducing the given problem to another problem the main concept reducing the given problem whatever the technique we have to derive the given problem or to another problem for each for which a lower bound is always known and the man tell us in a problem learning to manam reduce just a matter of problem loki okay now this technique is used for reducing the given problem to another problem for which a lower bound is always known that is the concept of reduction that is the concept of lower bound through a reduction for which a lower bound is always known okay coming the definition of lower bounds through reduction let in the sense we have to assume that p1 and p2 be any two problems p1 is one problem and p2 is another problem we say here p1 reduces to p2 and p2 anedi manaku telusu ante p2 anedi known solution anedi manaku telusu dantlo ki p1 ni man em chestunamo reduce chestunam ante p1 is directly proportional to p2 p1 is reduces to a p2 in time t of n okay if an instance of p1 it can be converted into an instance of p2 and p2 key and p2 ante endi manaku known problems anamata manam telisina problems lo ki manam ayyoka p1 problem ni teeskoni vastunnam ante in the sense if an instance of p1 it can be converted into an instance of p2 and a solution okay for p1 can be attained from a solution for p2 in time less than or equal to t n t of n in the sense what we have to do the concept if an instance of p1 it can be converted into an instance of p2 and a solution we get and p2 and either can known problems loki man p1 problem ni this kuna asthana man we have do here what p1 is reduced to p2 understand for the concept here is p1 can be attained attained in the sense we have obtained from a solution for p2 in time t of n okay for example we have seen that example we have to understand in a clear cut way okay okay let p1 
P1, be the problem of solution. P1 in the sense what problem, what a problem of selection. Whatever problem we have to take, that P1 be the problem of selection and P2 be the problem of sorting. And sorting and a problem 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 let P1 be the problem of selection and P2 the and P2 be the problem of sorting. Let we have to take the input have n numbers. And okay, 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 number, okay, numbers manan this koali. For example, okay, array of numbers manan this kunta array and n number. For example, 2, 5, 2, uh, 16, 1, 7, uh, 6, 5, uh, 3, 1. Atla number of elements and array of numbers. Let we have to take the input have n numbers. Okay. If the numbers are sorted, in numbers and even manam sorted shell sorted and in the Oka dani taravata okati sorted velo manam pet call. If the numbers are sorted, say in array of a of some function and the sense then the ith smallest element ith the smallest element of the input it can be attained or obtained as yes, array of object i okay or i the smallest element of the input it can be obtained as yes, array of the object i and array of numbers this kuntam that the smallest element ni choose kuni dan taravata and oka dan taravata oka dan dan taravata chinna dan taravata chinna atla manam em chestamo we have to put it in a sorted way we have to compare and we have to search and you but and then we have to put it in are sorted way and this p1 reduces thus p1 reduces to a p2 and p1 is directly proportional to p2 in order of one time that is the concept here let us see one 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 once again i have to repeat this condition listen carefully let p1 be the problem of selection and p2 be the problem of sorting let we have to take the input have n numbers if the numbers are sorted say in array of a of function for a of size then the i the smallest element of the input it can be attained or obtained as array of the object i okay thus p1 is reduces to p2 in order of one time this is the concept of lower bound theory through reduction reduction in the sense of whatever we known problems we have reduced to that problem okay in the sense for example a is tends to b in the sense p1 is tends to p2 whatever it may be p2 is the known problem okay we have to convert it into the p1 okay that is nothing but a lower bound through a reduction concept now we have see the another concept here multiplying the triangular matrices what multiplying multiplying triangular matrices what is what we want to say multiplying multiplying triangular matrices we have take we have to take uh, some a matrix that is a 3 by 3 matrix and b matrix that is a 3 by 3 matrix just we want to uh, multiplying the two matrices uh, in the since n by n matrices we have to multiply that is nothing we, we want to get the value a into b and a, a into b that is the product of a b we get the product of a b that is nothing but multiplying the two triangular matrices first of all uh, in coming to the triangular matrices first of all we need we know we know we need to know the concept of upper triangular matrices and lower triangular matrices what is the meaning of the upper triangular matrices let us discuss so let us look at this copy of all of you n n by n matrix a whose elements are a suffix ij is assigned to 0 for i greater than z is known as upper triangular matrix is the example of upper triangular matrix the below below the below the matrix below the matrix or diagonal or zero in a triangular manner is the example look at this what the exact definition of upper triangular matrix in the sense a square matrix in which all entries in which all entries below the matrix diagonal or zero below the here look at the example below the matrix diagonal or zero in a triangular manner what manner in a triangular manner let us see one example here you have to understand you otherwise you can't able to understand this listen carefully all of you matrix c is assigned to for example i have take the diagonal elements are 5 4 
two diagonal elements in the sense a one one a two two a three three and then we have to take uh, um below the matrix diagonal elements or uh, zero and uh, upper diagonal elements or uh, one zero two okay and next we want to take and further example m is equal to five eight zero four in the sense below the matrix diagonal or uh, zero in a triangular manner okay we want to check the condition here first of all we want to check the condition here look at all of you check the condition here a suffix ij is assigned to 0 when i greater than j now we want to observe here here now we want to observe here equal elements should and any elements one matrices will allow on a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 come on keep below the matrix diagonal elements of 0 and a 2 1 a 3 1 a 3 2 e condition allow on the children d 2 is greater than 1 and 1 can be 2 and it is better next condition 3 is greater than 1 and 1 can be 3 and it is bigger 3 is greater than 2 and 2 can be 3 and it is better and now we have to observe here this is the below the matrix diagonal elements are 0 in a triangular manner is nothing but what we have to say upper triangular matrix okay next we discuss lower triangular matrix in further video okay thank you